This is Skylar. I am completely blind and I'm autistic and I have a chronic heart condition. Now, for those of you who maybe are not autistics, you, you won't know this, but in the autism community, we have what are called special interests. These are like hobbies on super steroids, okay? And one of my special interests has always been words. I have like a gazillion favorite words. These words, um, when people say them to me, it helps me relax. It, um, it helps me to smile for pictures. I just really like the sound of these words. Um, they're very specific. I have like a zillion of them, but anyways, anyways, anyway. So, today I'm going to talk to you about a five letter long word that got me into huge trouble when I was 13 years old. Now, I feel like I was predisposed to be hooked on this particular word because uh, a, a few years prior, when I was like 11 or 12, I was hooked on words that started with uh, the letters GL. And I would always make up words that started with that. But, like, um, I was obsessed with gleeking, which is a type of... It's a trick you do with, with your spit. I don't know what it was back then. Anyways, so... Back to when I was 13. When I was 13... I was hooked on a five letter word that I got from the song Roll Out by Ludacris. Um, I'll put the lyrics to the song down in the description and you can read all you want. The word is Glock. G-L-O-C-K. It's a type of gun. I had, I still have no, you know, I didn't have any desire, you know, to use one. But I just liked, and I still like, the sound of that word. Alright, so... <laughs> I just liked the sound of the word. That's all. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. Okay? And so when I was 13, I would always have my friends say it for me. I felt like I was kind of too embarrassed to say it myself. I don't know why. But, like, my friends would say it for me. And my mom kept getting complaints that I was getting people to say that word for me. And that I was talking about the, the word, but they didn't, they didn't tell her what the word was. They just said that I was hooked on a word that wasn't really appropriate. And that I was getting people to, to say this word for me and stuff like that. So... Um, I was trying my best to keep my mom from finding out because my mom, I mean, she knows that I would never, you know, want to be involved in like, you know, killing anybody or anything like that. But she didn't really understand my autism back then and being hooked on words, the whole me being hooked on words thing. She, she just didn't understand it. Now she understands it a little bit more. Uh, but back when I was, like, little, she did not understand it. So, when my um, RI, that stands for Residential Instructor, called my mom and told her that I was hooked on the word Glock and that I had been making, or not making, but asking <laughs> my friends to say it to me and to play, you know, roll out. Because my friend Marsha, she had the same ludicrous album as I was, and it was called Word of Mouth. And it had the same songs on it because it was the same album and so she also had the, the roll out song and um so like like I said it has that in the in the chorus it's like the first line of the chorus <laughs> after a roll out it's like the very first line of the chorus anyways so my mom she had a cow a pig a sheep a horse and she had a whole barn when she found out <laughs> that I was hooked on the word glout. Like, she did not like me being hooked on that word at all. And so she told me to cut that blankety-blank out. I'm This is the censored version. Um, cut that blankety-blank-blank blank out and to, that I need to quit liking that word and stuff. So I had to kind of break up with that word. 
then in 2012, I asked my mom to get me that same CD for, for Christmas. Ludicrous word of mouth because I had lost mine. She gave me hers. And I got re... I got re-hooked. I know that's not a word, but I don't know how else to say it. On the G word. <laughs> and I remember asking my mom to get me a, um, a water pistol that had like a, a square muzzle. Because I wanted it to look... Or be shaped like a G, like like the the G word that I said earlier, and she did, and it was kind of kind of Slayer. Uh, it was just like a water pistol. It was like a where you spray someone with water, like a water gun, whatever you want to call it, squirt gun. So yeah, it was pretty harmless. But yeah, um, I had some fun with that. But now that I'm an adult. My mother doesn't care if I get hooked on that word, but, like, when I was little, no, mm -mm, that was not going to fly. Anyways, about the Ludacris song, I will put the link down in the description to the lyrics, and you can read the lyrics yourself. Now, now that I have a, a tablet, um, I can look up etymology, which is the origin of words, and the the uh, the G word, the the name brand of the gun that I was talking to you about, it came from German, uh, Austrian German. It was named after the person who um, first invented that specific type of gun, um, and his last name was that word. <laughs> so, anyways, hopefully you enjoy this video, and God bless.